knowledge adventure. Have fun. Get smart. Welcome to the main menu of Navigator, the easy way to get to know and use your Packard Bell computer. Explore the functions of Navigator. Prepare for body imaging and exploration. Click directly on the body to begin exploring. To move the body to a new position, click on the rotate body icon. Use the arrow keys or move the mouse to rotate the body. Click the mouse or hit any key to get a cursor. The skull. The skull consists of the crane. The skull consists of the crane. The skull. The skull consists of the cranium, which surrounds the delicate brain and the facial bones. The cranium is formed by eight bones. The frontal bone, two parietal bones, two temporal bones, the occipital bone in the back, the ethmoid bone behind the nose, and the sphenoid bone. The face consists of 14 bones, including the maxilla, upper jaw, and mandible, lower jaw. The bones of the skull are quite hard, and protection of the brain is undoubtedly their most important function. Interestingly, several of the bones are hollow, a feature which reduces their weight. Imagine how heavy your head might feel after a long day if these bones weren't hollow. These air-filled spaces are called the paranasal sinuses because they are located all around the nose. The membranes which line the sinuses sometimes become inflamed because of allergy or infection. This is a common condition referred to as sinusitis. 
All the skull bones, except the mandible, are held together by immovable joints called sutures. The mandible and the two temporal bones are held together by freely movable joints, which are named, not surprisingly, the temporomandibular joints, TMJ. The TMJs usually work well to permit all the complex motions required for chewing and talking. Some people, however, develop pain in their TMJs. This condition is called temporomandibular joint syndrome. TMJ syndrome is usually the result of spasm of the chewing muscles. Headaches, facial pain, and various popping noises are all common in patients with TMJ syndrome. Treatment is generally directed at reducing the muscle spasms and relieving the pain. Besides protecting the brain, the other major function of the skull is to house the special sense organs. The eyes, vision, ears, hearing, nose, smell, and tongue, taste, are all located in the skull. The sense of taste is accomplished by the approximately 10,000 taste buds. These are mostly located on the tongue, with a few located at the back of the throat. Surprisingly, there are only four different tastes that can be differentiated by the taste buds alone. Bitter, salty, sour, and sweet. The taste buds for each of these four different tastes are grouped together on the tongue. Of note, the taste buds for sweet are all located at the very tip of the tongue. Our ability to distinguish a rich range of tastes is actually due to our sense of smell, which is much more developed than our sense of taste. The sense of smell is accomplished by special nerve endings that all sit in a small region in the roof of the nose. Our sense of smell is remarkably sensitive. As few as four individual molecules can produce a recognizable smell. The skull consists of 